just growing up, you know, kindergarten to sixth grade, uh, times weren't always the best. Uh, we've been through it all, we've seen it all, we dealt with everything. And the strength that this woman has right next to me is beyond remarkable. Uh, she showed me just how not to give up, to stay determined, to uh, be myself. Um, and I, I never knew where my life was going to be taken. I never knew when my, my life could have ended. Um, you know, there were so many moments where I could have just gave up and give up on life and, you know, just be a statistic. Um, there was days in and days out, you know, sometimes we wouldn't have food, sometimes we wouldn't, we would, but the greatest thing that this woman right here, my, my grandmother, she always told me is that I'm special. Um, I never knew, I never really understood why, what that meant. Uh, just, you know, as a kid, you, you expect your mom and your grandma to say something like that, but not really to mean it. Um, and I, I didn't know what it mean, you know, I played sports, I did track, basketball, football, but basketball took me to the right direction. Um, my father pushed me harder than no other. Um, you know, I had my moments where he would flip out on me, but I knew it was for the better, it was for the love of the game, and uh, you just look at it, ninth grade, you know, we're 15 and 15. Um, I was kind of thinking about leaving. I didn't know why, why I would stay here. Uh, 10th grade year, we won Burst County. 11th grade year, we, we won Burst County in districts. And this year, we won states. Um, I'm still trying to figure out who I am, what, what I want to do with life, but... But... You know, being around such great people, such strong-willed people who understand that, you know, anything is possible. Um, you know, I'm just the man, I'm just a, the man above, I'm the, I'm the messenger. Um, I didn't know what my message was, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. But if you just look at everything, look around you, look at the people, um, I think my message has spread through basketball, you know, just with the kids, the youth, inspiring everyone, um, just seeing kids want to do better ac with academics or anything you want to accomplish. You know, my grandma, she always told me, whether if it's doing dishes, being a servant, being a trash man, you name it, just be the best person you can be. How much we progressed as, as a community, how much we progressed as people, my teammates, my family, my coach, it's, it's nothing like that. I mean, you know, I go day in and day out and I just look at everyone, look how beautiful everyone is, the smiles that this basketball team puts in everyone's face and it's, it's remarkable. But our time, our time is up for Redding, Pennsylvania and my challenge just for everyone in the community is whatever you do, just give it your all. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to accomplish with, just don't give up. Um, you know, sometimes we, we get that bad rap, but like Coach P said, we're on a, we're on a monopoly board for a reason, and that's through hard work and dedication. I believe that every single one in this in this gym can change the world, and I just thank everyone for the the love, the determination, the respect for what we did and what we accomplished as as a community because this isn't for the basketball team, this is for you guys and um, I just thank you. This is really my final goodbyes to my next stage, but I promise you guys I'm gonna be here by heart. I'm gonna be here through thick and thin. And um we got a lot more to show, and we're just gonna shock the world. Just thank, thank everyone. Thank you. To, thanks to my mom, my grandma, the community, my grandfather. Just thank everyone. Um, very nice for life.